video we're going to look at discrete data and continuous data. So discrete data is data that can only take certain values, such as a shoe size, so you can only tend generally get shoe sizes such as 4, 4.5, 5, 5.5, there's only certain values it can take. Uh, usually someone's age would be given as discrete, 15 years old, 16 years old, 17 years old. Strictly speaking though, you can work it out as a decimal if you wish, but usually it's given as a discrete value. Uh, someone's, uh, or how many people are in a room, or um, the number of people that went to the cinema last night, there are certain values that you can count, you don't tend to sort of say 2.71 people went to the cinema last night, it would generally be certain whole value numbers, integer numbers. Uh, continuous data on the other hand is data that can be measured on a scale and can take any value on that scale, such as the height of somebody, uh, you know you'd measure it in centimeters, you can use decimals or, you know, and so on, um, the length of time taken to, to run a race, the um, the weight of a book, they're all continuous values, Okay, they're measured on a scale and they can take any value on that scale. An interesting one that people talk about is money. Uh, money in itself, currency, money is a discrete value, it can only take certain values. Whereas the value of something, so for, say for instance stocks and shares or the value of something, you can give something a value that would be continuous. So now I'm going to do a simple question where we've got to organise data into discrete or continuous data. So first one, the height of a plant. The height of a plant you would measure probably in centimetres, uh, but you can also go into uh, decimal values. You can take any value on that scale of, the, of its height. It's just going to be a continuous uh, piece of information or continuous data. Okay, the next one. Um, number of people. The number of people in a room. Because that's only it's countable, okay, you can only take certain values. It's going to be discrete data. The time taken to run 100 meters, again, that can take any value on the scale at the time. Um, you know, it can take any value of time, so it's going to be continuous. And finally, shoe size. Because shoe size can only take certain values, it's a discrete piece of information, discrete data.